is here with to celebrate 25 years of marriage. Grant has amazing energy and optimism, and life with him is always filled with bold possibility. As I told him once, you are brave, and you inspire that in others. Welcoming my husband and your awesome U.S. Senator, Rand Paul. Begged him to get on the bus, travel the winding roads, 
and come back to our surgery center. He too was nearly blind from a heart and cataract. After his surgery, the next day, his wife sat next to me. As I unveiled the patch from his eyes, it was a powerful, emotional moment for me to see them looking at each other clearly for the first time in years, to see the face they loved again. As I saw the joy in their eyes, I thought, this is why I became a doctor. In that moment, I also remember my grandmother, who inspired me to become an eye surgeon. She's been hours with me as a kid. We would sort through her old coin collection, looking for wheat pennies and Indian heads. But as her vision began to fail, I became her eyes to inspect the faintness of the mint marks on the old weather-worn coins. I went with my grandmother to the ophthalmologist as she had her corneas replaced. I was also with her when she received the sad news that macular degeneration had done irreparable harm to her eyes. My hope, my hope that my grandmother would see again made me want to become an eye surgeon to make a difference in people's lives. I've been fortunate. I've been able to enjoy the American dream. I worry that the opportunity and hope are slipping away for our sons and daughters. As I watch our once great economy collapse under mounting spending and debt, I think, what kind of America will our grandchildren see? It seems to me that both parties and the entire political system are to blame. Yeah. Yeah.
Washington. I want common sense rules that will break the log jam in Congress. That's why I've introduced a Read the Bills Act. <laughs> with only a few hours before a vote. So I propose something truly extraordinary. <laughs> Let's read the bills every day! <laughs> From the time I was a very young boy, I was taught to love and appreciate America. Love of liberty pulses in my veins. Not because we have beautiful mountains or white sand beaches, although we do. <laughs> and not because of our abundance of resources, it's more visceral than that. Our great nation was founded upon the extraordinary notion that government should be restrained and freedom should be maximized. <laughs> threatened the world, America led the way to rid the world of Nazis and fascist regimes. Resolutely, we stood decade after decade against communism, the engine of capitalism finally winning out against the sputtering, incompetent engine of socialism. We won the Cold War! Thank <laughs> you. 